Now to the special counsel's extraordinary statement. Robert Mueller said he was unable to exonerate President Trump and explained that Justice Department policy prevents charging a sitting president with a crime. Now, Mueller implied that it is up to Congress to examine this further. Paula Reed begins our coverage. In his first public statement since being appointed special counsel in May 2017, uh, good morning, everyone. And Robert thank Mueller you made it clear he has not exonerated President Trump of obstruction of justice. If we had had confidence that the president clearly did not commit a crime, we would have said so. Instead, Mueller cited a Justice Department policy that prohibits charging a sitting president with a crime. Charging the president with a crime was therefore not an option we could consider. Rarely looking up, reading closely from his script, from them, Mueller implied the evidence he gathered could be used by Congress to pursue impeachment. The Constitution requires a process other than the criminal justice system to formally accuse a sitting president of wrongdoing. President Trump has repeatedly declared that Mueller cleared him. The Mueller report came out, no obstruction. No collusion, no nothing. It's beautiful report. But today, he changed his tune, tweeting, there was insufficient evidence, and therefore, in our country, a person is innocent. White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders also attempted to downplay Mueller's statement. If Bob Mueller had determined that there was a crime, he would have had a moral obligation to report it. Most Americans say they think Mueller should testify before Congress, but he said today he hoped his first time speaking about the investigation would be his last. The report is my testimony. I would not provide information beyond that which is already public in any appearance before Congress. Mueller also wanted to make sure the public did not forget about what his investigation did find. I will close by reiterating the central allegation of our indictments that there were multiple systematic efforts to interfere in our election. Paula, did Mueller ever explain why he investigated the president for obstruction when ultimately he knew he couldn't indict him? Well, Mueller emphasized that investigating a sitting president is important because you want to gather evidence while people's memories are still fresh and documents are still available. And he said you could use that evidence to pursue co-conspirators or pursue a sitting president through a process like impeachment. And when it comes to obstruction of justice, he said investigating obstruction is of paramount importance because he believes when people try to interfere with investigations, that strikes at the core of the government's obligation to uncover truth and hold people accountable. Paula Reed at the White House. Thank you.